Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 21. So today we're going to jump into the referrals applet, and I'm going to give you an overview of your referral network, how to add people to it, and then star your preferred referral partners. So the referral applet starts here with this kind of little speech bubble with the person inside of it. So we're going to click on icon number five to get into the referrals applet. Now your referrals overview screen, you're going to see along the top, right? All of the referrals that you kind of have that you're actively working and then any invites to your referral network. So right off the bat, you're going to see, as you do in most all of our applets, the ability to start a new referral here in the top right. And we're going to talk about sending and receiving referrals in a future video. Uh, but if you do need to start a new referral, you can do that using the button at the top right. In addition, if you have pending invites, you can click on this pending invites box and it will show you people that have requested you join their actual network of referral agents. So you can see Bill and Zoe have both asked. I'm going to accept both of these requests and I have now been added to both of those referral networks for those agents. If I come back to my dashboard, you may have seen this at 692. We're now up to 694 agents that are a part of my personal referral network. And you can start to see all of those agents listed here on the screen. I can click on view all. It's gonna take a while, but it'll load here 10 at a time through 694. And then I can do the same thing that I can do in contacts, view up to 10 agents, 50, 100, 250, or 500 referral partners at any one given time. Now 694 referral partners, that's a whole lot, but let's just say I am maybe looking for a referral partner in Michigan. I'm not quite sure where they're going to move in Michigan. I don't know a lot about Michigan, but I can literally type in the state Michigan and you'll see it'll start by pulling up two agents that are in my referral network already. So if I wanted to send a notification or a referral to Al, I could just click on his name you see he's brought up. I can then get into Al's profile, right? So I can see his amazing headshot, all of his information, including email and phone numbers, how many units he's closed, and then a brief bio on how long he's been with KW. So that's an easy way for me to kind of see who is in my referral network. And now if Al is one of my preferred referral partners, or maybe just someone that I wanna have kind of uh, at the top of my list, I can always star and this will add Al to my favorites with regards to my referral partners. If I come over here to the right hand side, I can click on the star icon and then you'll see it just brings up two people that I have referrals going back and forth with or you know, preferred referral, my favorites, if you will. Next, if we come down, you can also see the ability to track referrals and grow your network. We're gonna get into both of these in the future. Finally, with regards to your actual referral partners, not only can you create favorites, but you can also add tags. So maybe um, I know, we'll go back to Al, maybe I know that he specializes in uh, farm and ranch, right? And also, oops, farm and ranch, I gotta hit the other part, the other plus sign, I apologize. So there's farm and ranch, that tag is now added. I could add one, maybe he also does luxury, so I wanna put that in there and then uh, maybe he's a veteran and I don't know this about Al, so if you're not, I apologize Al, but I could just add that tag. And if I later find out Al's actually not a veteran, then I can take that tag out. This kind of makes it easier for me to kind of see at a glance who these actual referral partners are, uh, maybe where you met them or uh, you know different tags along those lines. Finally, if I wanna send them a referral from the referral network, right? I can come over and click on send referral. And then I can say, okay, here is the agent I wanna send it to. Is my referral a buyer, seller, tenant, or landlord? What's the referral fee amount? How long do they have to respond? And then the price point and a quick note. And then down here at the bottom, you can see I can actually select a client or a contact from my database or I can create a new contact and have that sent over as well. So those are kind of your options there inside of the referral dashboard and my network tabs. 
tomorrow we're gonna get further into the My Referrals. Later in the week, we'll get into the map. We'll really explore the referrals applet further throughout this week. But that's it for today. I hope you're having a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.